Hey guys, John here. This video is going to cover uh, one of my favorite things in programming and it's known as a singleton manager. Um, the reason why it's called a, called a singleton manager is it's a design concept. It's used on manager classes. Most commonly in Unity it's going to be used for your game managers. Uh, maybe your spawn manager. Maybe you have like a player manager or an item manager and stuff like that. Uh, anything that the, uh, that's a manager class can and should be, for the most part, a singleton. Um, a singleton is made up of everything that we've discussed so far, and it's one of the coolest features um, in C Sharp, I believe, because it allows us to do this thing called lazy instantiation. Uh, now, what does that mean? That means that basically the manager doesn't come into effect until the first time you call it. Uh, so basically it can have like for instance it doesn't even have to be in your scene at all so we can have a manager object that's not even in the scene and then you finally access it say 30 minutes into the game and then finally it gets activated and it comes to life so it's just pretty cool it's a little performance uh, increase um, and you can do a lot of cool things with it so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go and create a game manager and typically a game manager is gonna have uh, you know, it's just going to have game state, like for instance, the player alive, it might keep track of your score and stuff like that. So that's really what we're going to do. We're going to turn it into that. So when I open up this game manager class, it's our typical class. We have our two namespaces on the top. We have our game manager, which inherits from mono behavior, and then we have void start and update. Go ahead and get rid of void start and update. All right, so the process of designing a singleton is actually fairly simple. Uh, before I continue, I want to say one thing. Uh, with singleton managers, they're only meant to be on objects that have one instance, okay? For instance, how many spawn managers are in your game? One. How many game managers are in, are in your game? One. It's things that are only once, okay? Um, single instances. You don't need to have multiple. Anything that's going to have multiple should never be a singleton because you're going to be using static variables in singletons and it's a waste of memory space. Okay, so anything that has a that has one of anything that's a manager class, typically you only have one of those, um, should be a singleton. So the process of designing a singleton, the first thing we have to do is we have to create a private instance to the script. So the script that we need to access is game manager, and we're going to create a static instance to it. So we're going to say private. The type is going to be game manager, and we're going to go ahead here. <clears throat> and we're going to say uh, private static, sorry. We're going to say private static game manager, and then I'm going to go ahead and name it instance. So I use underscore instance because it's private. Now, what this is going to do, it's going to return, we need to now return instance. In order to do that, we need a property. Now, I could say here, I could say public static game manager. Now, why am I making these static? Because I want to make sure I can access these very easily just by saying game manager dot instance. Okay, and I'm going to name this property here capital instance. Now, I could make this an auto property. I could say get set. Now, the problem with this is I never want to change the value of underscore instance. It needs to equal this class and only this class. So I don't want the get. So I could just keep it like this. I could say private set. Now, Here's a problem with doing this. What if the instance doesn't exist? Then I'm getting nothing, right? I'm getting no, I'm getting null, meaning it doesn't exist. I'm just returning nothing. So in order to make it so if it doesn't exist, I can then go ahead and create the object and assign the instance. I need to make a full property. So auto properties don't really work out in this case. So what I can do instead is make a normal property, and I can say get. And I can actually create logic. So create logic to create the instance. So what we need to do here is we need to actually create a new object. So we need to actually check if the underscore instance is null. So what we do here is we say if underscore instance equals null, meaning that this game object or class doesn't exist. And if it doesn't exist, we need to create it. So I'm going to go ahead and here and create a new game object. I'm just going to name it go equals a new game object. That's going to literally create a new object in the scene, and I can name it whatever I want. I'm going to say game manager. All right, it's going to be named game manager. Now, once I create that object, I need to grab that object and I need to add this script to it. So I do that through add component, and I can add the game manager class. And there you go. So now, if instance equals null, it's going to do that. All right, now, if it's not null, it's going to skip it, and it's going to say return underscore instance. We need to return the instance. So when you get this property, it's going to return this variable. Now before we finish, 
we need to assign the instance, which we're going to do in a wake, which is called before start, which is when the object is loading. We're going to go ahead and say here, underscore instance equals this. And that basically says the instance is this class, this object. All right. So how can we make use of this? Well, our singleton is done. This is the design pattern for it. And now what we can do here is we can have a public variable, say public int um, score. We can also have in here, say, public bool is dead. And what I can do now is I can go into my player class and I can actually check those values. I can, I can set them or get them if I'm allowed to. They're just normal variables. Uh, so what I could do is all I have to do here to access them is I literally just say game manager dot capital instance which is the property and it says get so it's going to return the instance and then that's going to return all the public variables in the script so I have access to every public variable so I have access to the uh, to the score variable and then I have access to whatever else we created oh is dead and I can change them notice that it says here is dead it's just a public bool so I can say is dead equals false um, I can change those values now here's the case too with manager classes typically auto properties are used so I'm gonna go ahead and come in here and instead of using public int score and is dead I'm gonna go ahead and say here public int score I'm gonna say you can get and you can set the score alright and then I'm gonna go in and say here public int oops sorry public bool is dead and you can also get that information you can also set that information from another script now what if I wanted to set the value right now? What if I wanted the score to be 10? There's no way for me to set it here. It has to be done in a function. So you have here, you can create void start, which is where you initialize things. So you go ahead and say here, you say score equals 10. And that's how you initialize properties. And then you can change the values just like you normally would. You can come over here, you'd have a property, you'd say, or I'm sorry, you'd have a function, like void start, function method, whatever. And you would say here, game manager dot instance dot score equals 10 or if you want to debug that log the score just do that score debug it all right guys hope you enjoyed this singletons are very very cool stuff um, it's a design pattern in C sharp and it's very useful uh, very mobile friendly performance friendly um, hope you guys are enjoying the series so far and up next is namespaces so uh, thanks for watching make sure you guys are following on digitalgaminginstitute.com my Facebook page uh, also don't forget my book is released go ahead and pick up a copy thanks guys bye